Hello, welcome to your love reading at this time. So today we are going to do a quick check-in and take a look at what spirit wants to convey to you at this time. I hope everyone is well. And again, this is going to be a very quick check-in. All right. So let's see what is happening during this time. I wonder how you're doing. Like, how are you feeling today? Like, how are you? Like, how is your day going? How is your day going? You know, what is the message for the collective at this time? What does the collective need to hear? No forgiveness here. Ooh, forgiveness. Some of you are releasing an energy here. You're remaining positive about something. I feel like where you were possibly waiting for some sort of like some sort of an apology from someone, I feel like you're going to notice that I don't really need the apology. I, I forgive you. OK, and I feel like honestly what's happening during this time is you're going to start to notice that as you start to forgive people, as you start to forgive things that have happened in your past, you're going to actually see and understand why those things were even presented on the journey. OK, so there's something big about releasing that weight. You know, some of us, well, some of us here, we hold on to a lot of things and we really hold them into, you know, in our gut. And we hold these energies within our chakras and we cause blockages. And sometimes we're like, why is it that, you know, love isn't working out or, you know, other departments in my life is not working out. It's all about the release. It's all about the no resistant, the law of non-resistance, right? Release things that um, we no longer need to hold on to because again you know it's never a positive energy when you're creating a war within yourself and what I mean by a war is I'm still mad at this person I'm still upset with this person I'm still holding on to this person's energy and I'm still holding on to what they're not giving me and what they are giving me or you know the lack of action right for some of you, you know exactly what that feels like to want someone and want to connect with someone so bad and yet they give you nothing back right um, spirit is saying at this time you're going to start noticing that you're just forgiving people People. You're saying, hey, look, I understand you're unable to show up. I understand that you're unable to be the person that um, I desire in my life. And that's OK. And that's OK. Um, there's something big about spirit. If if this is not available at this time in this lifetime, I'll take its equivalent. I'll take its equivalent at this point. OK, so for some of you here, there's something here that, again, you're releasing and you're remaining positive. You're remaining positive. And honestly, as I was driving to the gym this morning, um, I was thinking to myself, like, let's have positive thoughts driving today. Positive thoughts. Let's create Let's create this new chapter. Let's create, you know, abundance, right? And I was just literally creating things. And I've done this before. And I will tell you, it works. It works. Things that have come into my life, it's, it's um, you know, I could definitely be a witness to that. So what you think is what you manifest. So if you're in this energy of holding on to, oh, I don't think this person feels this way, or I don't think this is going to work out, or whatever you're doing, at that time is what you're creating. So you want to be able to check in on yourself hour by hour, right? And I know it sounds very tedious, but you want to check in on yourself. Am I thinking positive? Am I right? Or am I worried? That's the message for today. Checking in on yourself, letting yourself know that I'm okay, right? Um, I'm connected to the one and Whatever I ask, I knock and it shall, the door shall open. Things will come in for me. Everything's fine. Everything is fine, right? I wasn't placed on this earth to not have, not, you know, to sit in this energy of lack. So I do feel like for some of you, you're embracing that energy. You're releasing and you're creating. And that is such a beautiful energy. Such a beautiful energy. You, test it out. Take a few, you know, for those that meditate, you, you know exactly what I mean. Um... But again, it's just an energy of I'm allowing things to flow. If you look at the Empress card, right? I don't have it here with me right now. But if you look at it, there's that beautiful river in the background. And it's like things are flowing. Love is coming in. Opportunities are coming in. 
new um, job offers are coming in, new ideas are coming in, new circles of friends are coming in. That's what life is about, flowing. If you look at the ocean, it's flowing. It doesn't stay still, it flows. And again, that's something that you should actually um, try to you know, put in your, in your daily routine to just flow. Okay. What else does my beautiful viewers need to hear at this time? Remain positive. I love that message. We have inner child. Okay. I actually, and we have blessings. What would your inner child want to feel right now? It's a great question, right? What would your inner child want to feel? I want to see the message here and I want you to hear it. What does your inner child want to feel? How did you feel? What did you want to create when you were a child? Or how would you love your inner child to feel at this time? Okay. Yes, we've been through pain. We've been through happy days, sad days. But how could we make our inner child happy at this time? So it states your inner child is yearning for love and attention. So give it Give your inner child some attention at this time, okay? It says your inner child wants to have fun. So maybe it's time to stop taking things so seriously and listen to the message your inner child has for you, all right? And the message is, I live inside of your heart, waiting patiently. Through all your travels, your days, your nights, I have been with you. I'm here. Look back through the mist of time and clouds of emotions. You will see me. I'm sitting right here with you. I am waiting. I'm here waiting. In finding me, you will become whole. In knowing me, you will know yourself better. For we are one. Remember me? I am the pure essence of you. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me hold this for you. Okay. I am the pure essence of you. I am the essence of your soul self. I am you before the world took hold of you and reshaped you. Let us link arms and travel this path together. A whole world await us. <laughs> it is a universal playground. So let's jump, play, slip, slide, rejoice, and also, um, what, also step in this energy of joy. Let us conquer it all in love and laughter. Your inner child wants to have fun. Remain positive, basically. Okay, so it's time for you. And, you know, typically I don't do readings like this, right? I, I typically do readings in terms of talking about your person, but it's all about you today. We're stepping into a new month, right? Tomorrow, today's a new day. We can make anything happen. Your inner child wants to have fun. Your inner child wants to remain positive and go for a walk and walk barefooted into, you know, in the grass, on the grass, on the grass, right? And just have a good time. Okay, for those that are wanting an energy check, if you want an energy check or you want to take a look at your situation, check out the, uh, the description box below for my website. Also, check out the manifestation channel if you haven't. And also like this video if this resonates so far. All right. What is the final message here? Oh, the angel of love here. And we have blossoming. It says that you are just getting started. So have patience with yourself and the process. Never and do not give up. Someone needs to hear this today. Okay. Someone that possibly thought about giving up. Someone here that possibly thought about, um, you know, again, stepping into this place of, I don't want to connect with love any longer. I don't want to deal with this. And it's okay to not want to deal with certain things, but don't give up on yourself. Okay, so I know some people are just like, I really don't want to participate in certain things anymore, and that's fine. Um, but there's other things to do that can make yourself happy. So don't give up on yourself. Now, this inner child energy, um, I, I don't know, my attention is going back to it. I want to get a card for that because I feel like someone's inner child is literally saying, please don't neglect me. Don't neglect me. Like, we don't deserve this. All right, so you could be in a situation where you're starving yourself because someone else is not ready for something or someone else could be in the space of ignoring their inner child. Just make sure you're not ignoring your inner child because your inner child doesn't even know that person, okay? They're like, why are you doing this to me for this random person? I thought we came in this game together, right? Why are you doing this to me? All right, let's clarify this inner child energy. Here we have the star 
and the Queen of Swords. Look at this butterfly in the background. Some of you are freeing yourself from expectations, okay? You're freeing yourself from expectations and you're moving forward here. Some of you could also travel a lot or you're wanting to travel. That also is coming in. But there's this energy of making a decision to free yourself, especially with that butterfly in the background. And there's also these rivers here in this lake. There's a lot of emotions here that possibly you've been building up and it has been really affecting you, maybe affecting your daily life or maybe affecting movement for you. So you know yourself better, of course, this is a general reading, but I do feel like someone here is going to set some serious boundaries in terms of committing to focusing on that inner child level. Now we have this angel of love. As you could see this person, uh, they're looking down at themselves, okay? They're holding this energy of, this is mine, okay? I love myself, but um, I'm very, I'm very careful and I'm also, I'm also learning how to love myself so I could activate my feminine energy, how I could activate my masculine energy, and how I could attract the things that I need. This is this is a very healing-like energy right now that I'm feeling. It's like I'm trying to step into a space where I could properly heal or even start healing or continue healing. And as I'm doing that, I'm becoming. I'm becoming the best version of myself in order to manifest the things that I desire, right? In order to manifest properly, you have to be in this place of healing, okay? Or you'll be manifesting people or specific people. And that's something you never want to do. You never want to manifest Mike, John, you know, you never, or whoever, Rachel, you don't want to do that. You want to manifest love and allow the universe to bring in or attract exactly what is equivalent to you or where you're aligned here. So I feel like some of you are definitely doing that. You're healing, you're activating, you're becoming, and then you're stepping into this place of really manifesting what you desire. And then for some of you that are watching, then you're going into that space of, all right, now I'm ready to give. Now I'm ready to give every, you know, give things externally here. But there's something about checking in on your healing energy, checking in on your manifestations, checking in on you, okay? And this is what spirit wants you to look at, okay? Forgiving your past, checking in on yourself, and then stepping into the world and saying, hey, look, this is what I'm interested in. This is what I'm not interested in. I'm interested in this energy. This one's not aligned with me. This energy that's really creating resistance in my life, it's, it's not for me, right? Especially if you're connecting with someone or something and it keeps on pushing you away, right? You can't get a hold of that person. You can't reach that person. That's a message. And your inner child is like, stop doing that to me, okay? So that is the message for you at this time. Like, share, and subscribe. I will talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one.